Okay, so this is my 2018 iPad Pro with the A2LX Bionic chip running the latest iPad OS 26 developer beta. There are many videos out there running iPad OS 26 on the latest iPads, but this is the oldest iPad that supports iPad OS 26. This iPad is now close to 7 years old. It was released in November 2018 and I was surprised to see it being supported on iPad OS 26. Let's get to the video. I'm gonna talk about the new design, multitasking features, file system updates and other minor features and the availability. At the end of this video, I'll talk about stability and the performance too. I'll leave chapter markers on the description below, so feel free to jump around if you want. I'm not gonna speed up any of the sequences in this video, just to give you an idea of how fast or slow it is. And during the course of this video, if there are any crashes, I'll just leave it in. I'm not gonna edit it out. Let's talk about the design. I'm not gonna go into depth about liquid glass and what Apple has done here as I'll save that for a future video. But I personally think that the new Apple software design looks really great. And this is how it looks on this iPad. This is my home screen, but it does feel a bit sluggish when moving around. But this is an old iPad and it is expected to be a bit slow, especially on a developer release. This is how the icons look by default. But if I do tap here, you can see all the Apple icons which are put into a folder, looking really great on the new operating system. I'll show you how the clear icons look. So if I long press on the home screen, go into edit and then customize there's a new option to see the clear icons there you go and i think this looks really great you also get the option of tinted icons it looks great when you can change the color and the intensity of the color as well especially with the clear look that the tinted icons now get let me just put this back to the clear one talking about the clear look i really like how the widgets look as well there you go, it took a bit of time to load because it's, again, this is still a beta. If you can look at my wallpaper, it kind of blends in with the widget. So this is the photos widget. If I open it up for you, that's the photo that you were looking at. And when you go back to the widget, now you can see that widget with the background slightly visible, bleeding through the widget. Some people may not like it, but I personally think it's a cool look. Let's talk about multitasking. I was quite surprised when the new multitasking features clearly taken from the Mac were supported on this now seven year old iPad. In case you did not know, this iPad did not initially support Stage Manager that was introduced in 2021. I think that was with iPadOS 26. But later on, Apple did bring the Stage Manager to this iPad Pro. This iPad, alongside every single iPad sold by Apple today, including the iPad Mini and the cheaper A16 iPad that starts around £330 or dollars, now supports the new multitasking features. Let's just get back to this iPad. Here's how multitasking works on this iPad. So if I go to the Settings app over here, and there's a section called multitasking and gestures in here you could see three different options full screen windowed and stage manager the two new features are full screen apps and windowed apps if i want to show you what full screen apps are full screen apps basically work like the traditional ipad experience like say from 10 years ago so every app opens in the full screen and then you can do whatever you want with the app for example if i was to minimize that and then say open safari there you go it opens on the full full screen that's it and then if I was to open, say, I don't know, chat GPT, there you go, opens on the full screen. And then, you know, all the other existing features that you know and love still still work, like swiping on the home button here, or the home indicator, rather, to jump between windows. And then you could do this to close a window, stuff like that. That all just works like as it always did. The new feature from iPadOS 26 is basically the new windowed mode that you can use apps in. Apple took everything they learned from multitasking on the Mac and basically ported it over to the iPad. So if I want to show you that, let me go back to the settings app. When I select the Windows app mode, as soon as I did this, you see this thing at the bottom here? Apple calls it the grab handle. So now basically I can grab that handle and change the size of the window however I'd like. So if I want to show you a demo, I would grab this and then make it bigger or smaller. It does look a bit odd because when it stretches, but this is a developer beta. And this iPad, you know, it still can handle all this, which is brilliant. Let me put it back to that size. And also, when I've selected windowed apps, you should see these three traffic lights at the top left of the, uh, of the, of the window. So if I want to make this back to full screen, I would do that. And then it would jump back to full screen. But still, remember, this is in windowed mode. So I could just drag this and make it smaller if I want to. One thing I really like is that you would see Apple demoing this using the Apple Pencil. I've got the Apple Pencil right here, but I could still use my finger. When I touch it, it becomes bigger for me to easily touch it. And if I hit the yellow button here, it minimizes it. To bring it back, that's all I have to do. Let me make this a bit bigger. And while I'm here, let me show you the menu bar as well. So this is the app that's open. So if I swipe down, you would see the menu bar. And in here, you would find all the options that you would expect to find. 
it's like a traditional Mac menu bar. Now, if I want to get to the notifications, I need to do a swipe down again. And there you can see the notification center. And you know, control panel, it's all the way to the right here. So swipe once, menu bar, swipe again, notification center, and then swipe on the top right, you see control center. So basically, when you are in the windowed mode, getting to the notifications now requires two swipes instead of one. It isn't a big deal, but it's something to take note of. So here's my settings app in the windowed mode, right? Let me just open a few more apps. Let me open uh, Safari. It opened on the full screen mode, but then, you know, you can grab this handle and make it any size you want it to be. I'm just going to put it here, settings over here, and then let me open, say, uh, camera. Oops, not camera. I mean the calendar app. Again, let's shrink it. Let's put it here. So let me show you one more thing. So if I go to the home screen, bring spotlight, and then search for another app, say again, ChatGPT. Opens in full screen. There you go, it's a bit slow because it's a beta build. Make it smaller and put it down like that. So if I swipe up quickly, I get to the home screen, right? But if I hold and then swipe, I could go into basically what's app expose like in the Mac. There's a limitation here on this iPad. Newer iPads with the M4 chip, the latest iPad Pros basically, they can support up to 12 apps in here. Whereas this 2018 iPad only goes up to four. Let me make this a bit bigger and then take my pencil and maybe, you know, to minimize this, I could always do this. There you go, it went back to the dock. So the pencil works just like it always used to. The other thing I wanted to show you is that this would still work with the trackpad or a mouse. So now I have a mouse connected to the iPad and as you can see, this is how the new cursor looks. So now again, if I was to go to this bit over here and then try to maximize this, I could easily do that. There you go. And then if I want to make it smaller, again, using my mouse, all I need to do is grab this bit here and then change the size however I'd like. Let me go back to the dock and open another app. Let's say, uh, I don't know, Safari again, maybe. So now I want to show you something else. So if I go to the traffic color lights over here and then long press on the green button, move my windows however I'd like. So if I do this, it would tile four windows next to each other just like this. So once I have tiled my apps, this is how it looks. Just a point to note is that split view, a feature that was on old iPads, is now gone. But you still get these handles at the middle of these two apps where you can change the size of the apps horizontally if you want. It doesn't work vertically because you don't get sliders here, but in here at the top and at the bottom, you could change the app size however you'd like. Okay, one more thing that iPadOS 26 dropped support for is for slide over. So basically that feature where you can slide over an app from either side of the iPad screen, that's now gone as well. It's annoying because it's a feature I really like and I always use it on my iPad mini. I'm sad for it to go, but this is a superior multitasking system in general, so I would rather take this iPadOS 26 multitasking paradigm instead of the older one. Another feature that you don't get on windowed mode is swiping through the apps. Remember in full screen apps you could use four fingers to swipe through, but that doesn't work here. Neither can you use the home button indicator to swipe through the apps. So if you're on windowed mode, that doesn't work. One more thing I want to show you is how iPhone apps look on the iPad operating system. So if I open up Instagram here, this is how the app looks on windowed mode. You get the grab handle here, you can stretch the you can stretch the window however you'd like, but it snaps back to a typical iPhone taller window size. You could make it smaller and then you could make it longer, but you can't horizontally stretch it. So an iPhone app still remains like an iPhone app. Let me quickly show you the new files app and the new features. Basically all the features that Apple introduced during the keynote are still available on this old iPad. So if I open the files app, you could see all your apps in there. You could change the view. So you get a list view, you can change the size of the columns and then you get your column view as well. You also get the new colorful folder options just like on the Mac. And if you have a folder on the dock, it just fans out just like on the Mac, there you go. That's basically the file management features on iPadOS 26. All the features the new iPads are getting, the old iPads are getting too, especially this one. Let's just quickly talk about stability. In the past few days I've been running this beta, I've only had a couple of Springboard crashes. One was as soon as I finished installing this beta, the home screen loaded and the Springboard just crashed and the second time was while recording this video. But there are quite a few bugs I've run into, which is all expected from a beta build. And if the iPad is a bit laggy as you saw during the video, that's because again this is a beta build. If you are thinking of installing the developer or public beta, I'd advise you only to do it if you know what you are getting yourself into. And please don't do it if you are dependent on your iPad for school or work. I have an iPad mini which I use daily and this is now my secondary iPad. 
so I didn't mind taking the risk. Basically, all the multitasking changes on the iPad introduced during WWDC 25 are what Apple should have introduced five years ago. Over the past few years, Apple experimented with various design and multitasking changes, but this update essentially discards all of them. They have now bought pretty much everything multitasking related from the Mac to the iPad. I personally think iPad multitasking is fixed, finally. I haven't upgraded this iPad in like seven years, and these new features have finally given me a reason to get a new iPad Pro. Let me know what your thoughts are on iPad OS 26, and if you have any questions, do leave a comment below. I have planned on some more videos on iPad OS 26 running on this iPad, like how it handles external displays and if it can even handle any of the new background tasks features that Apple showed off at WWDC. I'm also thinking of putting this beta on my iPad mini, so if you want to see that, please do hit subscribe. Till then, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and stay safe.